Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I will teach you the ancient art of zooming, which are professional ways on how to zoom into your image to edit it with ease. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer sharing my industry secrets with you, so maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel for free. Also this time I want to know in the comments, do you want to see more tutorials about software like for example Filterforge and Nick Collection, where you can do amazing looks like this here. This is a watercolor effect. As you can see here, here's the before, here's the after, and this simply turns it into a really nice watercolor painting. Look at that. Pretty awesome, right? So if you want to know more about that, let me know in the comments. Let's get started with this tutorial. And the first thing I want to show you that you have seen me do often, but it's good to reiterate that, is that I use my mouse wheel for zooming. The way you do that is that you press down your control key and hold it and then you scroll with your mouse and this will zoom in wherever you're pointing with your mouse. This is pretty magical to do that and super super quick to get around in your image to all kinds of position. Often zoom out and make it really small to see if the colors, the shadows, the contrast, the composition, everything still works. That is a pretty important trick. Here's the next one. If you're zoomed into your image without any key pressed, just with the mouse wheel by pressing and holding the mouse wheel, you can move around in your image like this. So you basically grab the canvas and move it around these two tricks can be used while using your tools. When you use the freehand selection tool, for example, if I make these points that I can create by holding shift and clicking by pressing down my mouse wheel, I can move the canvas around and the selection is still active. And so you can create the perfect selection, very precise, zoomed in very strongly, and then move around the canvas. That is very, very powerful. Let's go on to the next trick here. And that is that you can actually use the numbers on your keyboard to zoom. So for example, control and zero will zoom it so it fits the screen. And if you go to control one, this will then zoom it to 100%. And this is very important for a lot of different reasons. For example, when you sharpen your picture, you want to be zoomed at 100%. So you actually see the effect that it is doing and it, you don't get any kind of fragmentation. You can also go with other numbers. Two is 200, three is 300. Let's go to the next one. It is down here. So you can see we have a little preview. And that is very nice because first of all, we have a little slider here that we can use to zoom into the image and it shows you also the percentage over here. And also you get this little box here in the middle and you can move that around. And this is basically your viewport, right? So if I zoom in more, you can see that this is getting smaller, right? You can see here, it's bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, right? And so I can move this around to wherever I want it to be. And with this, I have a very quick way to get to very precise positions without changing the zoom level. This is the important part here. Also, you can detach this window by clicking and dragging it out. And by this, you can see I can make it really big. If I want to, I can make it in any kind of size. And if you have a second screen, the awesome thing here is you can put this on a second screen. Now, this is not ideal as a little preview because you have this box here and whatever is visible in the box is kind of overlaid by this gray color. So you're not really seeing what you're doing in that position. So don't use it as a work preview. There's another technique I want to show you that's really amazing. So let's snap this back down here. Um, by the way, if you don't see the navigator window, go to view and then to studio and then to navigator, which is here and make sure there's a check mark next to that. All right. So how do we get a preview that is in a different zoom level at the same time? Well, here it is. You go to view and then to new view down here, and this will create a second view of your already open image. You can see this 
And this is the exact same image. And of course I can detach this by clicking and dragging it. So now I have this over here and you can either put this here on the side and then start to work on this image. As you can see, this will float on top. It will not go into the background, but this is not ideal because you have all your tools over here. So this ideally is be used by a second screen. So you can be zoomed in very, very close and work on a little detail and then check on the second screen if this detail in big still looks good. This is very good, for example, for things like dodge and burn or for little edits where you paint in highlights, stuff like this. There, this is very, very powerful, very useful. If you don't have a second screen, but for example, you have a tablet like an iPad or an Android tablet, stuff like that, you can use a free software or an app better said that is called Space Desk. And this will allow you to then extend your screen to this device. Another important way to zoom is to double click on your layer over here. You can see if I zoom in and double click on this, this zooms me out to full view. Now this might not seem super exciting, but if you have objects in here that have different sizes on your canvas, for example, here we have this circle. If I double click on my layers tab over here, you can see that this zooms into that object, which is very nice to have it big enough to fill the screen. And of course, as I said before, Control and zero will zoom out. This is one of the best ways to just get back to your overview by control and zero and boom, you see everything again. All right, that was the tutorial for today. I hope that was super helpful. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Maybe join my Facebook group where there's over 2,500 amazing people. Bye. Hey.